Hello and welcome back to the Rillow Revolution. So, uh, James is now fixed. From last episode, he now has parentage. Thought I'd just make that one uh, obvious there. And we are back on the killing kind of streak. We have to try and get people to kill Lady Shireen. If we get an extra little uh, bit of percentage, we could actually get a lot more done. Um, I don't think anyone else really wants to join in. Yeah, they all have a high opinion of it and they all think it's immoral or something like that. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, let's speed the game up and let's just keep going on. Uh, okay, so this is a whole bunch of stuff. So Asha uh, has now become the in charge of High Her uh, Hermitage because Sir Alistair died um, of severe stress. Okay, is that it? Was that? I heard a lot of noises. I was assuming there was more than one thing. Brandon ba uh, Blackwood died. Unfortunately, he died uh, after disagreement with a meal, food poisoning. Oh, okay. Well, uh, and Mary died natural death. I have no idea why we care. Okay, cool. Right, so let's keep going. Let's uh, see how many more people we can get down here. So, they're doing a whole bunch of, like... Alright, so they're doing a whole bunch of handing out of titles and things between themselves. Founding different factions. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, a son was born to Tyler Stark and Sunil named Bannon. Bannon is sickly. Okay. That's fine. Uh, a whole bunch of things being voted against, being voted for. We still have our favor with Thor Clegane. Um, I'm wondering what we can actually do with that. We can't really do very much because he hasn't married. We could maybe force him to marry if we found somebody we want him to marry. Um, let's see what we could do. Uh, arrange marriage. Who do we have like on our books? We have Anne Aaron. We could force him to marry her. That would definitely um, be an interesting couple. They have a lot of good traits between themselves. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's say you will marry. Apparently, you'll do that without even our favor being there. So, okay. There we go. They shall marry. Anything else we want to do uh, with this favor? I was kind of thinking that might be what we do. We could force an educate child if we wanted maybe one of our children to be good at fighting. Um, yeah, we did change it to faith. We put it on faith for... Oh, that's childhood one. Uh, is there not another focus after that? Oh, it's at 12. I think you get the next focus. But if we wanted, say, um, our son to be educated by somebody who might do a little bit more uh, martial training, that could work. Yeah, let's go uh, force Thor to do some martial training for our son. Uh, and get him out of the court for just now. Robert and... Uh, Thor, it would be. There we go. Uh, oh, he's considering another offer from us. We'll wait a little bit for that then. Cool. And then we'll send this one. Again, it doesn't look like we have to use our favor. So, or maybe it's his children. For us educating, we would use the favor. Helen Tully has accepted Lord Paramount Hoster, the Tormentor's peace offer. So, Helen Tully lost her war, I assume. Yes, yes, she did. Anyway, that's fine. I was just seeing what we could do with our favor. It looks like it's not really a lot at all, but that's fine. Uh, Sir Pandus uh, Grammaton has died. He uh, died due to chamber business. He had dysentery. To all subjects of King Robert, the inheritance of Castle of King's Gate had been thrown into question of the untimely death of Sir Pandus Grammaton. He left no clear heir, so I hereby name Melissa Blackberry as his lawful heir. Okay. Uh, oh, his former wife. That makes a lot of sense, really. While standing on the balcony, a sudden shivering come overcomes you. Something is wrong. Turning around, a hooded man stands only inches away. Valamogulis, the man says, and it's the last thing you hear before hitting the ground. Somebody paid a faceless man to kill us? Um. What? So somebody paid a face. I mean, somebody had thousands of gold and chose to kill us. Unless they've decreased the price. What? Um. Okay. And unless you also get that from normal death things. Yeah, someone definitely murdered us. Lord Thomas has taken his last breath at age 29. He died as an under suspicious circumstances. Guilty of the sin of pride, he wanted everyone to know of his greatness. A wicked man, Thomas will surely pay for his sins in the afterlife. We are now playing as Lord Jonal. Lord Jonal, merely nine years old, the realm is left in capable hands of the Regent and Council. Long live Lord Jonal. 
so be it. We have a new heir. If we die now, we will now play as our brother, uh, Robert Ash. Okay. My liege, peace be with you. I have been appointed your regent. Cathian, our red priest, is our regent. Okay. Your father, Lord Thomas Ash, has died. Now falls upon you to decide whether to make the funeral a big special event or keep it small and private. Um, we'll give him a proper funeral. Um, and we'll invite just the family, which is actually going to cost us a ton of money if I, I didn't entirely realize when I was clicking the button. The money lenders are here, seeking so repayment for Lord Thomas's debt. Um, well, we can say we won't pay, pay them, which gives us Lord Tax and Lord Prestige. But I don't think we can afford to pay them, so I owe them nothing, I guess. We'll see how that goes down. The invitation has been sent to the lords and ladies of the realm to come to the funeral. It's time to prepare the feast and the funeral itself. Uh, we also need to apparently put in an entire new council. Okay. So, the only person who's still in is our spy master. Uh, but we can't plot because we're too young. So, he is now going to turn to scheming in a uh, weeping town. Okay, our red priest is fairly, should be Cathian, but we don't have any slots for him apparently. Maester, Thaddeus. Uh, treasurer. Um, let's do it from the other side. Cat, uh, Castellan. We're going to go with uh, Valsar. Seems like a good choice. Okay. Justicar. We're going to go with Josh Strong. Probably. Seems reasonable. Master of Arms. We're going to go with uh, James Bolton. Yup. Also seems reasonable. Treasurer. Um, I guess that goes to uh, Darren Waters. Not a great option. He's not very good at it, but it's an option. Uh, and then Red Priest is still unmarked. Collect taxes. Uh, we want to probably train children. We want to... I guess improve diplomatic relations with our liege. Because our liege hates us. And we don't want to be killed. Seems reasonable to me. And then you, oversee, would give us a lot more tax. Yes, yeah, oversee the province. Uh, any revolt risk? Not really. Okay, we're a little bit low on money. We have a council position we can't fill because we're low on money. We can righteously imprison um, Tyler Stark for trying to kill Maester Thaddeus. Um, I'm not that worried about it, actually, although our council would vote yes. Wait. Uh, oh, there's an empty seat on the council. Yeah. Which automatically votes no. Interesting, I didn't know that. Well, let's see what happens. Also, how's our council uh, for us? M mostly pragmatist, but a few glory hounds. Interesting. Uh, we're not going to spend much on food because we really don't have much. I, I really just wanted to see what the funeral event would say. And that's about it. Uh, a whole bunch of people get new jobs. Limited realm authority laws being placed into effect. All the guests have arrived at Weeping Town. Now is the time to start celebrating and feasting to celebrate the life of Thomas Ash. Okay. Um, there we go. The funeral. Amidst a throng of people, the body of the dead, freshly cleaned and prepared for the fires to come, is carried out to the temple and proceeded up the steps into the facade. Uh, facade? Probably facade. Uh, there the body is laid in state so the family and friends of the dead can say their farewells. Place a teary kiss upon the forehead of the body. Recollect. Recollect about. I don't think that should be recollect. Um, about days past. Uh, about days past glories. Or simply look upon the figure and weep. When each has had their turn to mourn. The body is hoisted onto the pyre. A solemn prayer is told over it. And a lighting torch is presented to Lord Jonal. As the gathering crowd quiets. The torch is. Uh, put to kindling and the body of Lord Thomas burns away to ash. Wink. Uh, by the morn, the ashes are collected and interned within the temple. And so it is done. Um, perfect. He died under suspicious circumstances at age 29. He was a man with little likes or dislikes who just lived each day as it came. Okay. Interesting. Also, we got here. Thomas Lannister was exiled uh, to uh, the Night's Watch. Um, what else have we got here? Oh, he was banished from the lands. I was trying to figure out if we could figure out why things happened. Do you want to shut the gates? How's this epidemic looking? Still only in the arbor, really. Any other epidemics? 
There's a pox over in Essos, but apart from that, nothing too worrying, really. Uh, okay. Well, let's just let things continue while we gain our money back very slowly. Seems to be about the best thing for us to do. Um, hopefully nobody tries to kill us. That would be very unfortunate. Also, how do the trans feel about us? Because I have a feeling that they might have been the one... They just kind of generally hate us. But they don't just directly hate us. Okay. Does I have a feeling it was probably a trance who killed us? A son was born to Valsar Redmoon and Melisent named uh, Dennis. He, is, he has a hair lip. Okay. Fair enough. Nothing too wrong with that. Uh, Liana has been imprisoned by Lord Titus Blackwood. Um, okay. Not sure why we need to pop up there, but that's fine. Four intrigues often seem confusing. And you had word the realm was on the brink of war? Perhaps Master Terence issued an ultimatum under threat of uh, force to my regent, uh, Kythean, demanding he surrenders the regency. He gave in to this, and now I have a new regent. Our spy master, Master Terence, is now our regent. Uh, I am an important lord. Oh dear. Do we have a priest? Ah, Kythean can at least be our priest now that we've got an extra, um, like, that we, now he's not our regent, basically. Um, he can go out and convert. Now, I think that would be what he would do. That seems reasonable. Right. Let's see what else happens. I'm excited to see. Um, there's, it's not a very easy world for uh, someone of the wrong religion who's 10, but we'll see what happens. Uh, my courtier, Vanar Blackfire, has expressed a desire to get married, asked my permission to find a suitable spouse. Sure, marry as you please. He is married, Scalera. Okay. Oris Valerian has called in favors. Where is he currently? He's currently in uh, Mir still. Okay. Um, interesting. We'll keep an eye on him. Alsar of Brightwater died of severe stress. Okay. So that now means that uh, House Florent is held. Oh, right. Oh, the he's the mercenary band. I thought Hall had taken the land, but it's uh, Lord Alakain the second is taking the land. Uh, Hall is fourth in line now. Okay. After being successfully treated by Maester Thaddeus, my sister Liara is feeling much better. Perhaps he's deserving of some praise. We will pay him one uh, copper. Oh, she has the flu. Okay, or one uh, gold. Or he's merely doing his job. Well, we don't have the money to pay him, so I guess he's merely doing his job. Yeah, not great, but there you go. Uh, what kind of character are we? Just out of curiosity, we're quick, we're uh, haughty, so we're proud and vain. Okay, and we're timid. Hmm, okay. Uh, that was Esme died. She's married to Benis uh, of Cider Hall. Then we have Elena Redwine died. Oh, she was previously married to Luther and is the mother of uh, Sir Mace. Okay, that explains a whole bunch. Right, why we'd want to know about that. Uh, Maester Thaddeus is no longer a court physician. I guess uh, the plot succeeded, huh? Um... Darren Waters is trying to see Princess Daenerys Stormborn dead. Uh, well, I'm I'm only 10, so I'm not going to get involved. But we might get involved later. We need a new maester. Uh, I guess we have to send for one. We need gold. We're, okay, we're, we're not going to have a maester for a while. Lord Jonal Ash, I invite you to attend the tourney of Hallowed Keep, where the best knights and lords of the Stormland shall be invited to compete. Regards... Byron Hasty, Lord of Hadlow Keep. Sure, we'll go. I want to see what happens. I want to see whether anybody we know wins. Barella has come to get my help. Today we're going to cut down some trees. Very hard work, she says. Ouch, suddenly my stomach hurts or I'll cut down the biggest one. Well, we're proud. You know what? We'll, we'll cut down the biggest tree. Let's see how that goes. Um, The coffers of your realm have run dry. Finances are a new low. One of your vassals, however, surely has enough gold to lend you. We'll see if our regent has enough gold to lend us. My lord, I shall of course honour my obligations to you and provide a loan of gold as requested. The funds shall be sent from uh, to Weeping Town immediately. Oh wow, you had a lot of money. We can send for a maester. Yes, we will definitely do that. Let's see who we get. Um, my lord, the maester we sent from, from the Citadel has arrived at Weeping Town. A river man by the name of Franklin. Let's hope he'll be loyal and wise. Okay, cool. He'll kind of act as our healer for just now. A whole bunch of people being imprisoned. 
Sir Alan and Sir Cathane were the next to jerry's in the list. After many tilts and broken lances, uh, Sir Cathane was eventually on horse, leaving uh, Sir Alan to be declared the winner. And for a second, I thought that was a red priest, which I was a little confused, but it's not. Uh, okay, he fought well. With our Vassar died stillborn. Uh, would have been the daughter of... Uh, oh, Valeria Dreamfire has married into Volantis. Okay. Lord Jon the Bronze has led the Runestone War for Anne's claim on the Veil on Lord Paramount Elaine of the Veil. So Anne is the one that we married off to Thor, I think. Um, let's have a look here. Thor, 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 Thor is married to Anne Aaron. It would seem reasonable that that was the claim that was pressed against Lady Elaine. So it's 14,000 versus 8,000. Not ridiculous that uh, uh, Jon the Bronze Royce would be able to do something here with this war. Um, probably not going to win, though. Sir so Alan and Sir Edric faced each other in the final joust. After many tilts, the final executed jousting. Sir Edric was eventually unhorsed, leaving Sir Alan to be declared the winner. Okay, not anyone really interesting in that uh, entire tourney, but that's fine. Um, uh, okay, whole bunch of stuff. Uh, none of it interesting. Okay. Uh, Maria Dane died stillborn. She would have been the daughter of Vorian. My lord, despite my best efforts to try and improve your wrongly tarnished reputation, it seems if your standing in the realm has lessened. Uh, the ravens I sent were merely greeted with scorn and skepticism, whilst the nobles I met did not believe the explanations I provided for your actions. Yours, Josh Strong. Everybody hates us. Great. Um, the tourney has finally ended. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Um, I think we're going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.